वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डिकोडिंग यूनिवर्स विद साइंटिस्ट आई हैव मयंक शर्मा रिसर्च स्कॉलर एट आइसर पुणे सो मयंक शर्मा कैन यू गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योर सेल्फ हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ मयंक एंड आई एम फ्राम पंजाब आई हैड डन माई बैचलर्स यू नो इन 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 यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली इन मोतीलाल नेहरू कॉलेज एंड आई हैव जॉइंट हेयर एज अ इंटीग्रेटेड पी एच डी स्टूडेंट इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो वॉट एग्जाम यू गेव ड्यूरिंग योर बी एस सी कैन यू एलोब्रेट सो आई हैड गिवन टू एग्जाम्स वन ऑफ दैम वॉज जेस्ट एंड वन ऑफ दैम वॉज आई टी जैम आई वॉज सिलेक्टेड हेयर बेस्ड ऑन माई रैंक ऑफ जेस्ट एग्जाम एंड वंस आई केम हेयर आई हैड टू गिव टू इंटरव्यूज एंड आई क्लियर दोज इंटरव्यूज एंड देन माई नेम वॉज इन द लिस्ट एंड and i was selected right so if you are going for uh, iser pune so there is a option of taking uh, in the admission admission uh, by giving exam iit jam and chest so you have to acquire some rank good rank and then you have to go through uh, rounds a round of interview and if you you can uh, join as a ipg uh, program student so uh, why you chose this ipg over msc Uh, normally if you do a msc it takes 2 years and then you do a phd on an on an average it takes 5 years so so that 7 years and uh, mostly uh, you know if you do a integrated phd as it was in aizer pune you do 2 years of course work and 4 years of you know research work you are saving some time and yes i and and yes you get to save some time and the other reason was you know when you join a integrated phd program here they give you a stipend to study which was you know very good uh, very good and and very good opportunity and i wanted to be you know financially self self sufficient and i don't uh, didn't want to take uh, you know money financial help from my parents so so that was uh, reason and also i and and you know also the department of physics at, at aizer pune was very good so because of these three reasons i chose integrated phd here at aizer pune yeah uh, lot of uh, faculties uh, like around 25 uh, faculties are there and and they are broad uh, research topics right. they offer right. so what were your struggles during your phd program okay so you know during phd program i re- i realized many things about you know life in general so during psc what you realize is that there will be so many ups and downs and you will become fr- frustrated many of the times but the helpful strategy which eventually i was able to figure out is that you just try if you don't understand something talk to people there are people smarter than you more wiser than you you talk to them and you know you will get to learn one or two things and once you implement that approach you know that helps and also you know like in my first year uh, you know after my course work after 2 years i was doing a project and i was stuck for a very long time and it was very uh, difficult period but uh, but you know i was able to talk to some people of my age and they were you know they were happy enough to uh, teach me things which was uh, like like which was very good and i felt very grateful for that and eventually you know by slow incremental process uh, i was able to overcome many of the challenges and you know the things which i was stuck in for one year now i am able to do those same things in maybe 1 hour 2 hour or 3 hours so that is you know the struggle of phd and also in phd you are always in constant self doubt so so you know you know what i felt in phd most of the time was you try to convince other that you are right and by convincing them you also convince yourself that you are right and with time you read more you understand more things and eventually you realize you and and you know eventually you realize you know i was right that time it is just that i didn't have confidence i didn't uh, read that much or i didn't know that much about the field 
but with time you know those things even out and then you become slowly slowly more confident yes so since your field of research is statistical mechanics and uh, deepak dhar is a expert on on that in that field and he also he got uh, the boltzmann medal for for yes. for the for for the for, for the field so for do you have any very important and immense contribution in our field yeah it's very yeah he has done a immense contribution in the field so do you have any experience uh, with deepak dhar yes so uh, i have had very good experience with uh, deepak dhar sir so you know i met him when uh, like uh, you know i met him once he was running in the morning and that time i asked my friend who is this guy then later i came to know he's deepak dhar and you know he's very fit he is uh, fitter than many of the young people so when i came here i was not fit so you know i saw him and uh, i came to know about his age it was 60 plus so you know inspiration for you yes so you know if he can do it so i you know talk to him how did he do it so he told me once that uh, he and his friends had decided and he continued and some of his friends uh, didn't continue for that long time so you know i decided maybe what happens if i try this and i also tried running uh so 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 that was one of my interactions with him and also you know sometimes i go to him and ask him questions he's very down to earth person whenever he meets you he will smile at you he will do a hi and you feel you know very good that uh, you know he's talking to you he makes you feel important so uh, so that is the experience which i have had